What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be using a Bax Calibur and a Lola Ninetale Snow Combo team that also features a bunch of meta Pokemon such as Heatran, Ogre Pond, Rillaboom, and Landorus. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I'll wait. I'll wait a couple seconds. There you go, you guys should have scrolled down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the Genius community. But this team right here was made by Sableye VGC. Huge shout out to them. If you guys want to see this team more in depth or want to go grab the Pokepace, I will be leaving a link down to his channel in the description below. But the first Pokemon we're going to talk about is going to be Bax Calibur, a Gen 9 favorite. I feel like I absolutely love this Pokemon, and every time I use it on the rank ladder, I seem to play really well with it. It has Ice Body as its ability to pair up with the Snow Warning Ninetales, then it has the Loaded Dice with a great move set of Icicle Spear, Scale Shot, Swords Dance, and Protect. Second slot is going to be that Alolan Ninetales with Snow Warning as its ability and the Light Clay as its item. It's got Moon Blast, Icy Wind Encore, and obviously, it is rocking a War of Veil. In our third slot, we got Life Orb Heatran with Flash Fire and the Fairy Terror type. You don't really see Fairy Terror types too much, you usually see Grass, but Fairy Terror type definitely going to work very, very well up against a bunch of different Pokemon. It's got Heat Wave, it's got Earth Power, Flash Cannon, and Protect. In our fourth slot, we got the Water Ogre Pond. This Pokemon is great for support and big time physical attacking at the same time. It's got Water Absorb, then Ivy Cudgel, Horn Leech, Follow Me, and Spiky Shield. Fifth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Intimidate and Choice Scarf Landers. It has Stomping Tantrum, Rock Slide, Terror Blast, obviously with that Flying Terror type, and U Turn for its final move. Final Pokemon is going to be Rillaboom, and I love Rillaboom, especially after the buff, giving it Grass Guide once again. It's got Grassy Surge with the Assault Vest and then Wood Hammer, Grass Guide, High Horsepower, and Fake Out for turn 1 flinches. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Bax Calibur and Ninetales meta team. First match coming at you guys. We are going up against a Hydreigon and a Lola Ninetales team. So the only weather that could be on the field in this matchup is going to be snow. That leads me to actually want to lead back to Calibur Ninetales. So I'm just going to lock them in real quick. But they also have Milotic. They have Amoongus, Corviknight, and Iron Hands on the team. Like I said, I like the Snow Squad here. Snow is going to be the only weather that we can actually rock out with. I can set up a Roar Veil. I can potentially set up a Sword Dance, and we can really get rocking out from there. So both these Pokemon, I really like for the lead. In the back end, I kind of like Heatran coming in here. Heatran's not going to be too bad. I mean, it's going to be super effective onto the Corviknight, onto the Amoongus, onto the Ninetales. We really, really like that. Plus, we have Earth Power that will be super effective onto the Iron Hands as well. So... Nice little Pokemon there. And then in our final spot, it's either going to be Rollboom or Choice Scarf Lando. Who do I want to go into here? Choice Scarf Lando or Rollboom? I don't really know. I don't really know. I mean, Rollboom can have the flinches. He can have the first turn priority. But Lando's just so good. And you know what? I'm going to go Lando. I think having the Choice Scarf in the back end late game is going to be potentially really good for us. We can pop some big time moves and especially just outspeed everybody else. So I think having Lando in the back end is going to be great, especially with Intimidate. They have Iron Hands from their final Pokemon, we'll just Intimidate that and just start ripping after it. But let's see who they end up leading here in turn one. I'm kind of hoping we see Hydreigon. But well, they're going to go Ninetales just like us. We're going to go a War Veil for a War Veil, which isn't a big deal. And I might try to set up a Source Dance here. I'm going to try to set up a Source Dance here. Do I Terra? I'm not going to turn just yet. I'm just going to go for a Sword Dance because he's definitely trying to fake out. And actually, I want him to fake out because I can Encore him into the fake out, which wouldn't be bad. So, Al comes to fake out and you're going to set up an Orville. That's not that big of a deal for us. It really isn't a big deal. Because from here, I'm going to set up a Sword Dance. And honestly, I might just set up another Sword Dance. Actually, I'm going to protect here, and I'm going to Encore this turn. I'm going to protect and Encore. Maybe I should have set up another Sword Sands. I really wonder what Ninetales are going for. Going for Glee. I mean, that's a fine call for us. Just protect this turn, and Encore him into Fake Out, and then set up a Roar Belt next turn. So now it's going to be the turn to... Do I Terrastalize? 
Or do I just start attacking that left slot? I definitely want to set up a roar with Nine Tails. Definitely want to set up a roar with Nine Tails. And I think throwing an Icicle Spirit into that left slot. Or Scale Shot. What do we do here? Do we want to lower our defense? I definitely want to Terra. But I don't know if I want to go for Scale Shot. Or if I would rather go for Icicle Spirit. I'm going to go for Icicle Spirit. As long as they don't throw out Milotic, we should be fine. But yeah, still going to Terrastalize here. We're going to Icicle Spirit and set up the Roar Bell at the same time. So Iron Hand's stuck in the fake out. He's going to withdraw. Please be anybody but Milotic, right? Corviknight, that's fine. I'm cool with Corviknight. Corviknight comes out here. And we're going to end up Terrastalize and into Poison just so the Fairy move isn't going to be going any crazy on the damage on this. We want to keep my back caliber out here as long as I can. Especially now that Sword Dance plus two. Love it. Love it. Love it. The Dazzle Gleam is going to come out here. This is exactly why we terrestrialize. And now we can get off the Roar Veil for the squad. So instead of going for a first turn of Roar Veil, we just made some big time plays for us. We have a Roar Veil a little bit longer than them now. And I think the Spirit is going to come out here and start chunking up some nice damage. Oh, we get a crit on that one. We'd like that. Send some more crits right now. Send some more crits. Send some more crits. Four times hitting. Beautiful. And now Fax Calibur outspeeds. We could probably just KO the Corviknight. So I'm going to go for another Icicle Spirit. And I'm just going to go for a nice little Moon Blast. Actually, do I slow down these guys? Yeah, I'm going to slow down Ninetales. Ninetales is rather fast Pokemon. So I'd rather just be doing that. So out comes Blizzard. We're just going to Icy Wind across the board. Slow him down a little bit. I know you got Mirror Armor. But I want to slow down the Nine Tails, considering Nine Tails is probably going to go down very soon. Icicle Spirit fires through here, and we'll get rid of Corviknight. So Corviknight is a gone. See you later, Corviknight. Get it on out my face. Get it on out of my face. The big time plays from Back to Calibre. I love having Ice Body on this thing as well, because I just get a constant stream of HP from my ability. And I still have my item, which is good. So it's pretty much leftovers without the item. Love it. I love it. I'm a fan of the snow. I know everybody forgot about hail already. Hail was before snow in Gen 9. But snow is just nice. It's just nice. Like hail, you're like, oh my god, hail's on the field. It's a little bit of a problem. But they buff snow, make an ice type Pokemon a lot more viable and competitive play. But out is going to come you, and I don't think you go for a fake out. I really, I believe you don't go for a fake out. And you know, we're just going to double protect just in case, to be honest with you. Actually, I can't protect. I don't believe you go for a fake out. I really don't. I'm 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 sure you don't go for a fake out because you you do not want to get encore into that again. So I'm just gonna go for icicle spear. I'm gonna pop moon blast. I'm just gonna double down on that slot. There's no way you go for fake out. Yeah, see, you're not gonna fall for that. Mis uh, you're not gonna fall for that again. So we're reading him not going into fake out. Good call for us. Max Calibur is chunking up some damage, which we love. Five shots, beautiful. Half in that HP. And Dazzle is going to come out here, which Nine Tails, yeah, I was going to say, should be able to soak up here. Moonblast now comes across. Can this KO? It doesn't, but we like the damage. EQ's coming out here. That's definitely scary. Baxcalibur is able to soak, which is great. And we'll go from there, because Baxcalibur is now fast on the field. We're sitting in such a good position. And the snow is now gone. The snow is gone. Um, yeah, Heatran probably the best bet to bring out here. We'll bring out Heat Chan. We're gonna pop a Heat Wave, and I'm gonna Icicle Spear. Do I Icicle Spear into the uh, Iron Hands? Nah, we're just gonna do it in Nine Tails. I have faith in my Heat Wave just hitting and KOing. If Heat Wave doesn't KO this Iron Hands, I'm gonna be upset. If it's vested, because I was really thinking of Icicle Spearing down the Iron Hands, but I do think Heat Wave's gonna do the KO. So we're just gonna chuck up some damage on Nine Tails. Actually, not doing bad damage on that. For not very effective move, not at all. Not at all. Four shots. Heat waves gonna go next and double KO. Beautiful. Everything works out perfectly. And first match is gonna go to us. I know they still have one more Pokemon, but still, Bax Caliber was perfect in this match. We played that one actually really well. We encored the fake out. We waited to set up our Roar Bell, and we set up Sword Sands with Bax Caliber, giving us the higher edge, and then Bax Caliber absolutely ripping with its uh icicle spears. So Hydreigon's gonna be the final Pokemon, and there's like a thousand percent chance this suit cancels the battle, right? We're just going to go for an Icicle Spear, and on top of that, I guess we'll throw a Flash Cannon. I guess we'll throw a Flash Cannon. They are going to end up Terrastalizing, which is fine. You probably do outspeed me. 
but I still have Rando in the back end, which is awesome. And you're going into a ground type, or not ground type, a uh, fire type. Nice, lovely fire type. Actually, that's a perfect terror up against us. Earth power's gonna come out here. Can we soak that? We don't. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. But again, I still think we're fine. We have Lando in the back end. Lovely Lando. Flash Cannon's gonna do like negative six damage on this thing. Actually, that did a bit more than I thought it would do, to be honest. I guess it's because we're life where we get the damage boost. But now I can just go into you. Um, do I want to Terra in the flying? Or do I want to Terra in the fairy or anything? Probably fairy, right? Actually, we already used our Terra. My bad. We already used Terra. We can't use Stop and Catch him because of uh, Levitate. But I think just Flash Cannon and Rock Slide is going to be the play. The Rock Slide is going to come out here. Big time damage is lovely. I don't see Hydrogon one shotting me. Earth Power is going to come out here. And this thing is just ripping me. Am I Roar Bell gone? That's the real question. There are Roar Bells gone. Is my Roar Bell gone? No. Why is your Earth Power doing so much damage to me? I get that one was four times super effective, but still. This one Rock Slide should come out here and finish it off. Yep, GG's. Cool. Like I said, wasn't worried about it. I knew we had Landers in the back end to clean up the mess. And there it is. When oh to get this video started. Second match coming at you guys, and we are going up against a Jump Luff Sun team. They have regular Ninetales to set the sun, so we're definitely going to be wanting to bring in our Alolan Ninetales to actually set the snow and try to counter the Weather War. They also have Chiyu, Fluttermane, and then a big time combo of Shen Pao and Dragonite. Who am I leading here? I'm definitely not leading Ninetales, but I want to bring in Ninetales. I might lead Vaxcalibur. Mm, not really. Don't want to lead that. I might lead Lando. I think Lando with the Choice Scarf could be really good for us. Do I want to lead that? I am scared of the Dragonite. I am terrified of Dragonite and Shen Pao becoming a lead. That could be a problem. I might go Rillaboom and Lando. Intimidate could be pretty good, especially if they do lead physical attackers. So you know what? Yeah, we're going to go both of them. We're going to bring Ninetales in the back end. And last but not least, do we go in with Heatran? I think Heatran would not be bad. With Flashfire, it's not too shabby. Right? I like it. I can get down with that. I can definitely get down with that. Yeah, he tried to counter a lot of different Pokemon, especially with that ability not being able to take fire shots. They had a few fire type Pokemon on the team. I like Heatran. I like Heatran. I think Heatran is such a good Pokemon in the meta just because of its ability. Like if it did not have its ability, it wouldn't probably be as good as it is. Its ability is so good. Flash Fire, it just works so perfect with its typing and with Terra typing in the game. But Jump Bluff comes out here alongside with Ninetales. And this is the exact point where we set this uh the snow and i'm just gonna go into some rock slides here instead of faking out we're going straight in the rock slides we're swapping we're going right in the rock slides so he's gonna jack pack out of here Ooh, oh that worked perfectly for me that actually works so good so we want the over he normally wants to overheat and that actually worked really good for him let's see what they go into here I think I'm going to Shen Pao. What's the play here? I mean, I have the Choice Scarf. I will outspeed with the Choice Scarf. Um, I don't think we'll outspeed the Jump Bluff unless we change up weather. But I might just try U-turn out of here. Or I can just go for Rock Slide. I'm going to go for Rock Slide. I have the choice scarf. I don't know if he's faster than me. You are faster than me. But did I dodge that? Oh, that's big time. That's big time dodge. Rock Slide coming in hot now. It's coming in hot. That's lovely. That's huge. That is huge. That is massive. That is massive. Because now I can just grassy glide. KO you and... Do I just hard swap? No, because he's going to put put to sleep whoever it is he's gonna put me to sleep um i wish i had protected this point uh da, 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 da. he's gonna try to put me to sleep um sh, 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 do i just change out weather no because we're gonna ko there's no point in changing weather this turn there's no point in changing weather i'm just gonna go for rock side Hopefully he misses the sleep pad again. 
We're actually guys gonna pick up the KO, no problem. We get rid of Shen Pao. He's gonna be putting Lando to sleep all day. The reason I said there was no point in changing weather is because we're picking up a KO, and they're just gonna swap into the night gals again. So he ends up doing that. Um Put me to sleep. I don't like that one bit. I'm kinda hoping they go back into Nine Tails. I wouldn't mind that because then I'm just gonna swap weather and I might just rationalize my roll boom. But we'll see. We'll see what they got cooking. I do have high horsepower on my roll boom, which is nice. They're gonna end up going back into Nine Tails, and this is exactly where we swap. So I'm gonna terrestrialize you, go straight fire. And I'm gonna high horsepower you. And at the same time. We're going to swap Lando, even though we sleep, into Ninetales, just to get rid of the sun. Okay. So not bad so far, especially because we took it out Shen Pao. That's massive. They could have Dragonite in the back end. I have Heat Trail, which works actually pretty well for us. But since it's snow, I'm Terrasalizing Rillaboom as well, because I do not want to take an overheat from this Ninetales. And really just die out here. Now, I do wonder what Jump Luff's gonna do here now. I'm curious to see what Jump Luff's gonna do. Are you just gonna spam sleep? No, you're gonna go for some strength saps. So actually, this wasn't bad for us. I mean, you get back a ton of HP, but I can freely send Blizzards next turn. Luckily, I'm not a physical attacker. Heat Wave's also gonna fly out here, and Real Boom's gonna dodge an attack. The Night Dance gonna take a chunk of damage. So I could set up a Roar if I want to. Could definitely set up a war belt, and that's actually beautiful that we did that much damage there. The real question is do we blizzard or do we a war belt? So I'm gonna grass guide the KOU. Do I a war bell? I don't have blizzard. I'm gonna war bell. I don't have blizzard. I just realized that. The grass guys can come out here. Should KO you all day. Yep. There it is. And Ninetail should outspeed the jump luff. Because I think you don't. Wow, you're still out speeding me? That really sucks. That really sucks. Because And now you put me to sleep. So now we're sitting here. Jump off could just sleep powder spam. Which could get actually very annoying very quick. And we'll see who their final Pokemon is. Really? Double sleep powders? That's actually the third time I think we use sleep powders. Flutter Mane's gonna get cooking. What could be our fire terror type? I like this type for us. And from here, do we just stick with Grass Guides? Might as well, right? You might as well just start ripping with Grass Guides. On the Grass Guide, and I'll go for Ice Wind just for a bit more speed control. Okay. Why do I have a feeling this Fluttermane's gonna protect, and then Jump Bluff's just gonna put my Robe to sleep? Now it's Fire type. I have an odd feeling about that, and I don't like it one bit. Yep. Like, come on, man. You don't gotta. You don't gotta be a sleep powder guy. You don't gotta be a constant sleep powder person. That ain't right. That's not cool. It's not cool. I get using Spore. I get using Sleep Powder. But every turn? Four times in a battle? It's just not right. It's just not right. That's the fourth time they used it. They landed it three times. They used it four times. Come on, man. You're better than that. Don't be Spore spamming over here. Don't be Sleep spamming. That's not cool. The grass disappears from the battlefield, which honestly sucks. Do I do a hard swap here? Look, look at this. Look at this. What is this? I still have Heat Trail, which is good, but we're just going to deal with what we have. I'll go for Wood Hammer. And at the same time, I'll drop an Icy Wind. Mystical Fire comes out of here. And we survive. We like that. Can, can you guys wake up? Can we wake up here? This Is this, is this what we got to deal with? Is this simply what we have to deal with? Can you wake up, Ninetales? Yes, let's go. Let's go. Icy Wind's gonna slow down everybody. Do some big time damage on Jump Bluff, which we love. Which we love. And we're gonna drop speed. We still have all of our Pokemon. Just everybody's asleep. Just our Sam Five teams asleep right now. And it's a problem. We don't like being asleep. So from here, I'm just gonna pop a nice lovely Wood Hammer again, and I'm just gonna go for another Icy Wind. Hopefully, Ninetales can outspeed at this point, but Flutter May might be faster. If Ninetales does outspeed, that pretty much wraps it up because we're going to be able to get rid of Jump Luff. We're going to be able to slow down uh, Fluttermane again. And at this point, we'll be thriving. But finally, out comes the Terror type. And who you got? Who you Terrasalizing? I was going to say, it's going to be Jump Luff. But no, it's going to be Fluttermane through the straight Poison type. Not a bad. Actually, that's a pretty good Terror type. 
We do have Lando in the back end who's asleep, which kind of sucks. But Ninetales is now outspeed, which is beautiful because that gets rid of Jump Luff. We'll slow down Fluttermane again. And honestly, Rillaboom could wake up here. He definitely could. Can he wake up Rillaboom for, for a squad? Nah, yo, Rillaboom's taking long naps here. Big time naps. Fluttermane's gonna go for a Gleam. That's going to KO my Ninetales. And this one's pretty much wraps. We're gonna be 2 0, baby. Let's go. I really did think that the sleep spam was gonna actually maybe make a comeback for him, but we're chilling. We're definitely chilling here. I got Heatran in the back end. Heatran is a perfect counter on Fluttermane. I got Earth Power to deal with this Poison Terror type as well. So I'll click High Horsepower. I'll get Earth Power. And I believe your opponent just cancels the match, right? Yep, there it is. 2 0. Let's go hop to her third. Look for that perfect record. Final match on its way, and we're going up against another Alolan Ninetales team, which I don't mind. I don't mind the snow. I love the snow. My team thrives with the snow, so we're going to be rocking out with their snow squad. I'm going to go back to Calibre Ninetales for a nice little lead. Actually, they could fake me out. They could definitely fake me out. And you know what? Just because of that, we're going to go into Rillaboom of our own, just so we can fake out him before he fakes us out. Actually, no. We're going into Ninetales. We have Encore. Lovely. We wouldn't mind that one bit. So we're going to go in with both of these guys. They also have Warren Moon Fluttermane. Making me want to bring in Heatran. And then last but not least. Do you bring Ogre Pond? Yeah, I like Ogre Pond. I like this Pokemon. I feel like I have to sneeze. And I'm a little sick. As you guys can tell in my voice. But hey, we're still thriving here. We're still potentially grabbing ourselves a perfect record. We're 2-0. We are 2-0. Yeah, I woke up. Middle of the night last night. Coughing. Stuffy in my nose and everything. I feel fine. It's just like my throat. I did have a headache all day yesterday, though. but other than that, I feel pretty good. I'm, I'm up and I'm out and about doing my thing. It's not like keeping me in bed, which is awesome. But we're back to what we faced in, I think it was like match number one. They go nine tails and iron hands, and honestly, I hope they go for the same thing. I really do hope they go for the same thing. I'm actually just gonna try to slow them down if that's the case. Hopefully, they fake out the, the nine tails. Yep, they're gonna go for the same thing. War Veil and. And fake out, right? So we get off this free sword dance again, and I'm just going to encore him. Yeah, this is perfect. This is so perfect. This is so perfect. So they do that. I get off a free sword dance. Uh, do I do anything differently this turn? I could just terrestrialize and go for another sword dance if I want to. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm not taking a big chunk of damage. And we're just going to encore you. Cool. Loving it, loving it. Because I don't want the Dazzling Gleam coming out here doing some big time damage or Moon Blast ripping into me. So I'm going to Terrasize, I'm going to Sword Stance yet again. And then I'm going to get off a War Veil next turn. Massive, massive place for us. Massive place. Because he definitely wants to go into Drain Punch at me. But we're like, nah, yo. Nah, you're, you're, you're sticking with Fake Out. It's going to fail. So we're going to force him to swap next turn. We're going to be plus four on our Sword Stance. And our opponent's probably like, oh my lord. And no, you know, <laughs> no, <laughs> he got Encore as well. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Hate this game. All right, looks like we got a hard swap. Looks like we got a hard swap. He train, come on out here. They're probably gonna hard swap as well. Actually, do I just leave him in here? So how many turns am I encore for? Wow. I mean, we can waste out one of those turns. You know what? We're going to keep him in here. If he's plus six ripping attacks, we're going to keep him in here. We're going to Sword Saints up again. No problem. Sword Saints coming out of here. A war Veil. Let's get that set up. I should have encored their Nine Tails and Encore. That's not too bad going into that. Um. We get off a war bell. Okay. He's going for a speed control. Alright. So we're going to try to keep our back scalibur in here a couple turns. We're going to try to keep the back scalibur in here a couple turns. I got Ice Spy to get back some HP. Which is lovely. I have to go for Sword Dance again. Constantly. And I guess we'll just Moon Blast down the front of man. We have a chance of getting a special attack drop, which would be massive. <laughs> I 
wonder. I wonder what they're doing here. I do wonder. We have to waste out two more turns. We got a war bell up. But like, Shadow Ball's gonna come in here. How much damage is Shadow Ball doing? And your Encore me? Oh, my. Piece of our own medicine, eh? Alright. Base of her own medicine. We do have Ice Body, which is nice. I'm gonna hard swap in the Heat Train here. Not for Baxcalibur. We're set on wasting out these turns. I'm gonna swap in the Heat Train. Okay. So they didn't have Witch on 9000 as well. And Iron Hands comes Iron. Oh, that's, that's brutal. That's brutal. That's real brutal. Okay. That comes Shadow Ball chunking up the energy. Might be able to eat up another Shadow Ball. No, we can't. We lose Ice Body here. Max Calibur's Encore does end, which is huge. And at this point, we're just gonna protect you. And I'm gonna flash cannon down. The Fluttermoon slot. This game. We were setting up just like match number one, and then they were like, nah, we're gonna Encore you as well. Absurd. Good play by our opponent. We should've just attacked the next turn. We got a little too greedy on our, uh, on our Swords dances. They looked to double down in back scalpel, which big time for us. Um Flash Cannon might be able to KO, which would be huge. Does not. Flash Cannon does not KO. And from here. I mean we I would rather go for just an icicle spear, have that land, and just go after Iron Hands with that. And then just heat move across. That's our point. We'll see what they want to do, because we might be able to eat up just a shadow. And if that's the case, that's huge if we can eat up a Shadow Ball. If we had Ice Body still, if the, if the snow was still out here, that would have been... That would have been amazing, because we would have definitely been able to eat up another Shadow Ball. But from here, I don't know if we can. At 63 HP, I don't know if we can. We'll see. I guess we're going to find out right here. If not, he trying to get off a lot of value. So we get some Shadow Ball, and fingers crossed, 1 HP, Bandit. Nope, never. Never me. I can never live on 1 HP. Always our opponents. But, I mean, he's gonna drain punch me. It's gonna be tough. Heat Wave's gonna. Who's it missing? I miss Iron Hand. So we get rid of Flutter. Okay, cool. Iron Hand's still here. Aurora Veil's out on both sides. Iron Hand's probably gonna do some big time damage here. No, he ends up just going for a Wild Charge. I don't mind. I, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Um. From here, we're just gonna bring out Ogre Pond. We're just gonna bring out Ogre Pond here. And they're gonna bring out Lando. So, Intimidate. Eh, looking a little annoying. And I think our best bet might just be to just Ivy Cudgel into that, right? And Heat Wave across the board. Yeah, maybe look for some burns. But yeah, our opponent's looking, looking pretty good here, right? It was, it was, oh man, that could have been so good again if I would have just started attacking after our first sword dance. I got a little too greedy on the sword dance. But still, I want to go plus two because then I could just like pretty much just sweep with them. But he ends up U-turning. So he's going to be forced to go back into Nine Tails, which I don't mind. I don't mind that. And my heat wave's going to come across here. Maybe we get a burn onto the uh, Iron Hands. Maybe get a big time burn here. I because you're gonna come out here. Yeah, I'm not gonna do anything crazy. And he's he, he gonna pop up some big time damage. Can we get some burns? Any burns? Any burns? Maybe one burn? No, no burns. Drain Punch gonna come out here. Finish off my heat train. Yeah, they're sitting in such a good position. Especially with Intimidate Landers in the back end. Yeah. I have nine tails too. I'm not I don't have a lot of damage output here. That's gonna be game. That is gonna be game. The reward belt is gone, but they could just set up another one, no problem. I can't, I can't one shot anyone. I can't. They're too bulky, especially intimidating the back end. My 
Ogre Pod's already intimidated it, so I'm just gonna run this one. Two and one for today's video, not too bad, a lovely winning record. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, two and one on the rank ladder. Wish we would have went three and oh, but hey, two and one, I'll take a winning record all day. Bax Calibur and I Tails were very, very strong together. We set up the sword stance on Bax Calibur, making it do some crazy damage, and at the same time, putting it behind Nine Tails and Warville and Encore and Pokemon in the fake out really helped us out grab us some wins in today's video but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spend some positive today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody